Hello everyone, welcome back. This is my third project for Kidola Kits for the month of November. And I'm doing another 12 by 12 layout using that stripy foiled paper that we got in this kit. The foil papers were arguably my favorite that we got in this kit, but I also love that floral paper that I used last week in my project as well. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do this vertical style layout where I'm really going to, I really took inspiration from the paper directly from um, the fact that they were so vertical and I wanted them to be vertical because I wanted to put these two photos of my little paparoo um, in that little area as well. So I cut out these little flower bulby things and I am um, I just added them to like a bit of a textured border and I'm going to stick them down. But first I thought I'm going to do my mixed media splattering before I start my uh, layout because then I don't have to worry about getting it on the photo. And so I just added some little blue splatters to the layout and let that dry. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start gluing everything down. This layout is very special to me because it was photos that I took of my little my little doggy do and I took it at a time when we weren't sure if she was going to have to be put down. We she's got diabetes and she's had diabetes and she's on treatment for a few months now. But she also um then almost overnight went blind and it was really scary and we didn't know if they were going to be able to fix it um, or if she was going to have it was like signs of a bigger issue that was wrong and so we went to the vet and they couldn't give us answers and so we referred to a specialist and these photos were taken between those two appointments and it was just like really a hard time and I was just like so worried about her and we were so upset and everything we couldn't come to terms with the fact that we might lose her because she's only eight years old but Luckily, after I took this photos, after I did this layout, well, before I did this layout, I we had that vet appointment, the specialist appointment, and they can fix it. It's a pretty straightforward surgery. She's otherwise doing well. And so I'm just was so grateful for that, that we um, could take these photos. Um, but she's been really scared and she's really confused and she doesn't know what's going on and she keeps running into things. And it's just so awful. Um, to watch and so she's been spending a lot of time by my side um, I'm often in bed now these days because I'm in pain from my pregnancy and she's just often by my side and um, just staying with me and like when I leave the room I take her with me and I talk her through everything and it's just been really hard and she's confused and I wish I could explain to her <laughs> what's wrong but I can't <clears throat> um, which sucks but it's okay. She's going to be fixed. She's actually going to be fixed. Um, the, she's going in for the surgery in a few weeks time, in a few days time. Sorry. Uh, anyway, moving back to the layout, I'm going to prop up these photos on foam because I felt like they just, they needed to stand out. They were important to me and they needed to stand out. Uh, so I'm going to put those up. I'm going to stagger them like so, and I'm going to use my T square ruler just to make sure that they line up nicely and that they're not a bit wonky because with the layout like this which is very vertical and very blocky it'll be very obvious if one of those photos was at a bit of an angle so once those photos are down i'm just checking to see if i'm happy with that oh i am moving this one over ever so slightly because it was just not sticking out quite enough for me uh and then i'm going to start embellishing so i've got i had that blue tag but i decided to use this yellow tag instead because i wanted to bring a bit more yellow into this layer because there's just like the one strip of yellow there and so I'm just cutting that up so I can tuck it behind my photo there. And then I'm going to go and add to the top and to the bottom, I'm going to add some little, some flower clusters using that little die cut um, book, those sheets that you punch the die cuts out of. Uh, these little sentiments had to, uh, they were about traveling, so they didn't really work very well. But I am tucking them in behind so you don't see the writing, but you just see the little pop of um, yellow there like I have done so the bottom cluster is going to be a little bit bigger I'm keeping the top cluster a bit on the smaller side because that is where my title is going to go as well as oh no just my title is going to go there I really liked these little leaves that came in this uh, these these die cut sheets they just were the, just the perfect size and just complemented the flower clusters that I made very well so I was very happy um, that I got to um, 
play with these leaves this week. Like I said in like a previous video, this kit is just amazing. I opened it up and I just fell in love. It's possibly one of my favorite kits we've had this year. It's just the colors are so pretty. That foiled paper is just so shiny. And yeah, Steph just did an amazing job curating everything in this kit. So now I'm going to move on to my title and the title is going to be So Grateful For You. I'm using these tiny little gold puffies that I got. I'm pretty sure I got that from the Kit Ollie Kit store a while ago. And then I'm going to stick that Grateful, which is a sentiment from the um, puffy sticker sheet that we got in the kit. And so is that So. And then I'm going to place that there. I'm going to add one final cluster <clears throat> to create that visual triangle. That cluster I'm going to cut down so it looks like it is tucked behind that um, opposite blue strippy paper and then my journaling is actually going to go directly underneath that cluster there because I thought it um, would look a bit busy if I put it on the opposite side next to that smaller photo of Alfie. So I'm adding a few more little um, sprigs here just to build up that cluster. I'm not going too crazy with it but I do like how that looks. Uh, adding some twine into my tag and this is one thing about that's great about community projects that little swirly thing that I did with the twine I saw that for the first time ever uh, someone doing that during um, scrap timber last month and I really love that so I'm really happy that um, I was watching those videos because I thought that looks really cute uh, now anyway I added my journaling and then I'm going to just that white stark white border was bothering me so I'm just going to do some just a bit of um, distress inking on those edges just to tie it all in together and add another little pop of yellow and then I'm going to add my little stickles which if you watched my video last week you will see how I went nuts with them because I can't believe I've never owned these stickles before and I absolutely love them once that is done, I'm going to call this layout done. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I will be back next week with another video. Bye.